think uh, my biggest accomplishment was uh, finding who you are as a person within yourself. Um, because, uh, you know, not everyone can just go and, and play like we did, you know, and at the end of the day be okay, you know. So, it, you know, it takes uh, some some heart, you know, with, uh, with what you do and stuff like that. And uh, I think this season definitely I uh, found out who I was, you know. Our conference. That's probably my biggest accomplishment. Learning how to play maybe offense and uh, more about the blocking and blocking my guy. Probably. I mean, uh, when uh, in the latest part of the season when I maybe um, when I when I can block the guy, I'm happy because I mean the other things I know how to do, but this was one of the new things that I had to concentrate uh, concentrate about. Uh, so it was a it was a, one of the last thing I have to know for. Completely playing American football. But yeah, I think blocking and offense. Gaining the confidence to go against those real, real big guys that you never thought that little skinny kid could uh, push or move. It's setting the standard for you know open field blocking and where I was at my position. You know, as a wide receiver, getting to know how to block properly and being able to do it consistently was a big part of it. Like leading the team, that was definitely out of my comfort zone. I want to make the playoffs for sure. Like that would be up there. Maybe go go deep in the playoffs for sure. I'd like to set some records for receiving. That'd be pretty sweet. Well, I don't want to break anything. That's for sure. I don't have the most tackles in the game. I really want to get to the point to where I help my own teammates instead of being helped by my teammates. Probably get where Avon was, like try to actually be on like a starting team instead of like starting bench. Be pretty cool. Probably learn, probably like get my mind clear so I don't fumble every play and be like, what do I do? That's the word. It's so embarrassing. Uh, I'd like to go playoffs again. I mean, that'd be sweet. I mean, we went the one year, but it was the cheat year for COVID, so that kind of sucked. Um, another winning season would be sweet. I mean, you have to have that to go to playoffs, so... Just get better. I want to achieve not being ineligible at all, and also being able to stay at my spot and actually could do good at blocking. We'll get better at it. Well, stay? Nah, I don't know about all that, but... First team on confidence for sure. Definitely one of them. And I don't know. Just want to bond with the team a little more, I guess. A winning record. More points scored than like points given up. One is get a kick return touchdown. Beat Onekama, beat Brother, and win confidence. Well, no matter like what the like what happens, injuries, you just gotta keep like trusting the team and still like be there for the team family. This year probably just sticking with it. It gets harder, like as you get older, like it's you kinda get tired of doing it, but you kinda see with like our seniors this year they were a little bit better about pushing themselves. Mainly Avon telling me not to be afraid because then being a smaller dude is just gonna Get pummeled. Don't just stand there waiting for them to come to you, but go to them and keep your grades up. Uh, blocking technique, they taught me how to do offense and defense well too. Well, Travis really taught me how to get into a proper stance and how to fire off well. Leadership, never give up. Just play every play like it's your last. I think Avon taught me the most. It's kind of sucked that he got sh cut short by like a game. But Avon kind of just like taught me more confidence and just, I don't know. He just, me, he just taught me how to do confidence and just 
get the ball. He taught me how to shoot gaps because I had no idea what, even what that was. And just all that type of stuff, like, just run. And I kind of thought, oh yeah, it'd be a little bit more difficult. It's, I mean, yeah, just run and hold the ball and, yeah, it even kind of taught me a lot. Not give up and just keep going, even if you're bad or good. And be the best that I can be and help the team. When I first started, I was on the line, and Travi taught me a lot on the line. But then I went back to linebacker, and it even helped me a lot. Be resilient, and not to give up. Hard work pays off, even though it may not show on the field, but it shows in practice, and at home, and out in the community and stuff. Never give up. Because this is what we do. This is what we do. Something that I wish I would have known is that you can be whatever you want to be as long as you push yourself to be who that person is that you desire. Leadership takes more roles than just elders or like uh, age. Like in the leadership prospect, age is just like it's just a number. Like. Like there's little technique things that you just kind of pick up, like like in practice you just kind of know these like things for blocking and defense and just like they come with time. So I guess I just wish I'd known how important being a part of a team really is. You know, with all making relationships with all those guys was really the biggest part of it. That honestly, that it goes by so fast. I didn't know it would, it, it, it would go by that so fast. I wish I knew that, if I can give it all since the beginning. I kind of regret that. <laughs> to have their back in a fight, you know, when they need it the most. Just like all the, all the little things that, you know, tie into being a team and having your teammates back. Just having their back, just doing your job so that, and not making them look bad. If, if one person messes up, I mean, you're not gonna get on them, but like them, like it's if they're slacking or something, it makes everyone look bad. Like one mistake, then it's like, oh, well you did this because of that, and then it just builds up and everybody looks bad. It means that you have their back or they have my back and you actually can help them out through stuff. For example, if they're doing bad in school, you help them out with that. If they're doing bad and like, just in general, you help them out, you always just have their back. To have their back and keep your grades up. Make sure that, you know, you can count on them and that they can count on you. It's just kind of like that family relationship. You got their back, you do anything for them, you sacrifice anything. When you have somebody six, you always are there for them. You always have their back, and you, you never let them, like, when they go into the battle, you gotta be there with them. You gotta be ready to do anything for them. To always have each other's back, no matter what, and it's not just, you know, on the field, it's also outside of football and school and stuff. It's, it's the hashtag of the thing. To have their back. Have their back. I mean, like when Putney was sick doing boards, I mean, we all ran with them and like when Garamo came back we ran with them and just have your back have each other's backs have your six have just have your back and just account for each other check up on each other someone's always got my back like wherever I am even if, if it's the football field or classroom through anything you're just gonna always be there for them like in school in the classroom in life like I always have their six and I always have mine it's kind of the brotherhood, so. You can count on them, even like in any time, in any circumstance, you know they're there for you. Have somebody six, it means you got their back, you're there for them if they need you. You know, like, if they're if they're doing bad, you just teach them like how, what, they're, what they're doing wrong and like how to fix it. Uh, to have their back, be there for them when they need you the most. <laughs> like if they're down, you're right next to them, helping them get up, getting up helping them fight back, and encouraging them to do better and help them. Doing everything you can to help them achieve your goal and their goal. We don't talk just about it in the game, we just 
talk about in general, like in the in the in the life of a person. You can see that because we support each other and um, everywhere. Just not in the game, but uh, for example, in the game, uh, you have to protect with everything you have your guy, and you just when you play, you know that you're. When you play, you're. Um, I don't know the words. When you play, you're confident because when you play, you are confident of your teammates because you trust them. You, they, you know, you know that as you have your six, they have your six. So playing with them is really so much fun because you are totally confident to your teammates and they will blow up your guy or something like that. So I mean, it's really and it's a fundamental thing. I think. Not during football, I'm still going to plan to have people's backs, like even the football team or like just some of my friends. I plan on having their backs and continue trying to push them forward. Uh, in my family and try to be like that with my friends. It's, it's really just um, about yourself at the end of the day because in order to help another person, you have to help yourself first. Get ready for next year. Whatever I can. Just gonna try to improve working, doing what, doing my thing, just doing my job and trying not to do other people's jobs. I mean, we still go to school together, we'll watch out for each other. Like, it's still the same thing, just not football, like basketball and baseball. After I graduate, it just f f falls into play like, okay, my brother, he needs help. You can have a six by coming to that call or that message and helping him out or you got those random people on the sides of the street things that you can do in the public too besides football I think I'll um, take care of my friend more because maybe if they make some decision I can say just I mean that's not my problem that's their problem they, but I mean having their six is maybe staying with her and Telling them maybe it's not the right choice and staying with there all the time and uh, yeah. Even in college and stuff, I want to be able to help, you know, my family, my friends, whenever they need it, just to be there for them. We're trying to help him stay eligible even though he's not playing a winter sport. We're just kind of helping him not get in the trouble that he was in last school year with trying to pass and stuff. Uh, continue helping people keep their grades up and not getting into school fights. I'm um, just like standing up for what I know is right and standing up for other people and then also my brothers that I've played with. So I want to play next year and I don't want to like back, be back and be like, <coughs> oh no, for, uh, we're on our second board. So I want to like, I want to keep like the strength I've built because I, I mean, we did what we were on like 10 boards I would not have been able to do that I want to try to keep like the strength and confidence that football taught me well football taught me like you know if you got my sex I got yours you got mine and once again football field or not wherever it is so I'm just always there for you making sure they're okay all the time making sure they're having like doing good in life well I mean, I could, do it, I could do it in the workplace with fellow employees. I could do it at home with my siblings. I can really, like, bring it anywhere with me. Being there for people when they need it the most. When they least, when they least expect it. The um, players here at the football have such a great impact on all the, uh, mostly the seniors, on all the um, younger students. And everyone comes to me and uh, to the senior, I can see that in the school, and talk about football and they want just, they see us playing, never give up. It was one of the most wonderful things. We never give up, but, and everyone is, came to us, just asked things. And I think that um, next year will be a really good year. And uh, because people saw what we did this year,